Welcome to Views and News and a very special program on Indian and Croatian football. It's not often that Croatian football and Indian football are mentioned in the same breath, but this time there is a possibility that a whole lot of Indian kids could start playing football in Croatia and maybe some Croatian kids could be playing football in India. Let's see, we have with us today two senior officials from the club NK Instra or FC Croatia, a professional football club from Pula, currently playing in the Croatian First Division League. We all know the level of football that Croatia plays. They finished third in the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France and runner-up in the 2018 in Russia. Correct? The country has given the world famous footballers like Davor Suker, Ivan Perisic, Robert Prozinecki, Slaven Bilic, Mario Stanic and many more. These two officials are Mr. Branko Davide Vincenti and Mr. Darko Podna. They are the President and Managing Director and Director of Institutional Affairs of INSTRA respectively. They are in India on an invitation from Indo-Europe Sports Leisure Council, an organization associated with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, New Delhi. They are here to promote football at the grassroots level, teaching students in the 13 to 23 age group. We also have with us Mr. Wasim Alvi from Europe Sports Leisure Council. He is the main initiator of this program. I will ask him some for me more details about this exciting opportunity. Welcome to you all. Thank you very First, much. First, I'd like to say that you are a country of extraordinary footballing talent. I mean, you have been the extraordinary people of football have come down, come up from the very small portion and shock the entire world. Now, how is it that you have associated uh, with India? Have you any idea about Indian football before this? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, uh, we know India, first of all, for the cricket. Cricket as is the most Obviously. popular, popular, Obviously. popular sport in, in, in India. Um, however, uh, since uh, India has a very big population, we, we can feel that there are also uh, big uh, talents in uh, football. So uh, our intention is to uh, give our knowledge we have in Croatia to uh, young Indian uh, players so they could develop uh, their football uh, skills. And as you mentioned, in some moment, maybe uh, uh, be able to play uh, European competitions either in Croatia or in other uh, European places. Now, uh, there was of course an Indian player who recently went to uh, Croatia. His name is Sandez Jingan. Yes. He went to a club uh, called HNK Sibanik. Yeah. Now, he couldn't play. The logic behind it was, I think, which also everybody mm -hmm. thinks, that Physically, he was a, he's a very good player, but he was 28, number one. Number two, physically he may not have been so good, he came back with a sort of calf injury. Now, what do you think, before we ask, go into the further things, what do you think is lacking, if you've known a little bit, and I would also like to take Mr. Alvi's help in this, or anyone if you can answer, uh, what do you think is lacking? Well, uh, we believe that uh, for, be a, for a player of any nation to be able to play in Croatia, uh, you need to be fully physically fit and that is not possible uh, to reach in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Uh, that's why we have uh, joined this cooperation on a grassroots level. Uh, it is very important for the kids and young players to start as early as possible to start getting the uh, appropriate fitness level and tactical and technical skills to, able, to be able to play in the Croatian League, which is uh, developing very fast and has been recognized right now in the Europe as one of the leagues where we play the, the fastest game of football. So we know about the player that played in Šibenik. Unfortunately, he was uh, injured after he arrived to Croatia. That was very unfortunate because we were very, really, really interesting to see how he would perform on the national team level. And unfortunately, uh, he needed to return uh, from the club back to India. Uh, we hope that we will be able to locate appropriate uh, Indian talents, which will be coming soon to Croatia to join 
uh, our coaches and our players in the academy and then to assess their uh, current level and uh, allow them to develop in the right way for one day to play either in Croatia or one of the European countries which would be appropriate for them. Now, there are two questions that follow, either one you can answer. It is, he did not play any match, he got injured. What could be the reason for a person, player getting injured without having played any match? Is there some flaw in our training that what you found? Secondly, if you are training 13 to 23s over here, what would you like to put in them that would prevent something like this from happening? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we don't know what exactly happened in the other club. It's, it was not our club, so we don't know what happened in the training uh, process. Uh, Croatian uh, football uh, is being played on the hybrid pitches very extremely fast and are different from the natural team pitches, which could have uh, attributed uh, to a possible injury after the arrival to Croatia. Of course, uh, it, it's a very individual uh, case, so we don't know if the player was tired or maybe had some injury that was not discovered before he arrived to Croatia. So basically, maybe he should have joined the training process a little bit uh, low intensity to be able to achieve that level of competition required. Unfortunately, that was not possible because, as far as we understood, after a couple of days of arrival to Croatia, he got an injury which is a soft tissue injury basically uh, it's a it's a really common type of injury when you go to a higher level of competition or you change the turf so probably it was related something to that and uh, if i may add only that's uh, our idea to bring young uh, young uh, kids young talents from india so they can at the, uh, uh, at, the at the start they can uh, work and know how uh, we train in Croatia or in Europe. So they, uh, maybe that can be a way to avoid, uh, uh, I wouldn't say wrong tra training methods, but methods that could uh, avoid any, any, any uh, leisures. I understand this because this has happened to another player before mm -hmm. called uh, uh, Bhajim Bhutia. Mm -hmm. He was of course with the uh, Ely, uh, English Premier League, fourth division. But he also could not play for a long time because he kept getting injured. Mm -hmm. Now this must be something. It, I don't know. If, I don't think it is the weather because you have Brazilian players playing over there who have the similar weather, mm -hmm. right? So is there? There must be some training deficiency over here. Now, when you start this program, I also like to ask Mr. Uh, Peter uh, assist. That what are you planning? How are you planning to do the program? What are the diets, gym? What sort of program are you doing? Are pl you're planning. You're planning an academy, I believe. Just to, uh, basic thing to you know to understand that you should start from the very early age to understand the the physical activities and as well as the habit of the sports person, like to uh, uh, what to eat, when to sleep. And all of these, because you have given the example of the one of the player who got the injury. So if you can, uh, if we want to prevent in such kind of uh, injuries or, or not to be happen in the future, so we have we have to adopt this uh, training module from the early stage of the age. And uh, you can conclude this uh, all uh, in your training program in football training program. Okay. Uh, about the academy that you all are planning, uh, should, will this be a residential academy or will it be a day? Yeah, it day will day. be. It, it 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 will be future for the uh, residential academy, not only for the Delhi height. It, it will be for all part of the uh, India, mm -hmm. and especially we are targeting to the northern part of India to people. You know, uh, in some area there is no facility of the football and also. The education platform also very important for the young age player because they cannot leave these studies during the play time and it is very important to accommodate them for the uh, school and as well as the football training. Uh, in this, can I ask you, anybody to answer, what is the general pattern of uh, an academy in uh, Prussia? What happens? Are they residential? What about their studies? What kind of facilities do you provide? Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, the clubs of the top tier football in Croatia have residential uh, academies. Uh, all of them continue the education uh, in the high school. So basically most of the players that reach the U21 level uh, are finishing the high school as well. Unfortunately, university studies is the choice of the individual player in Croatia. So basically we always encourage the players to continue with the education because you never know how the sports career will develop. Unfortunately, uh, the professional sport in Croatia is very demanding, so sometimes it is not possible for all of them to continue with the educational programs. However, there are cases of a top-tier players that have uh, finished most demanding law schools and uh, economy schools in Croatia. So basically, we always encourage, but it's an individual choice. Yeah, that's extraordinary, but I think that's the problem you will face over here, in that in India, in any family, education is number one. Number two is sports or anything else. Any, any activity is number two. Education is number one. So parents, guardians, we will, they will force the students to study first. So it will be very difficult for you to take them out of studies and the guardians, and if you say, tell the guardians, look, they have an option that they may not study but have a good career in sports as well. It has come into athletics. It has come into cricket. In football, it hasn't. Even cricket, believe me, guardians say that, okay, if you are playing very good cricket, and if you don't study, just complete school. That's it. It doesn't matter because if you'll be earning enough money. That situation is not common in football in our country. Now, that is the way people were looking at it. But at this point of time, it has not come. So how are you looking at it to organizing funds-wise, you know, everything wise. Can you can you give can you give me a idea of Yes, it is very important to understand uh, you know uh, taking football with the education and like uh, in India like you said correct if you are playing cricket that uh, the parents is not worrying about the studies. That's why we conclude and we sign the agreement also with the University of Pula. If some people is, some uh, football players is going to the Croatia for training then they can be accommodated with the studies. So ah, parents should not thing, be yes. parents should not be worried uh, that the study is not suffering because of the football. So this is the our module to give the uh, education and as well as the the football uh, professional training. So take us take us through the paces. Like how do you want to start? Where is the middle and where is the end? Can you take us through the paces? Uh, how you want to do it? Mm -hmm. How do you plan to do it? Because other, other teams have had associations with us. Atletico de Madrid, Chelsea has done it. Manchester has done it to a little extent, but Chelsea has done it. And Atletico de Madrid is doing in Kolkata. Kolkata is the biggest center of uh, yeah. Indian football. So what are you doing? What is your plan? Uh, our idea is uh, for, uh, to go step by step, small step by small step. Uh, for, uh, for the beginning, our intention is to have uh, Indian kids in Croatia, in Pula, uh, and also coaches, uh, so the coaches can learn the know-how. And after that, when the coaches are prepared, they should be the Indian coaches should be the ones that need to work in India to implement the academy. So that's the that's the uh, I, I would say the first uh, goal to, to we need to achieve. Right, and we will see how we will uh, that right. develop. There, there, there are uh, standards in the Sports Authority of India, which allow uh, B coaches, even A coaches, sometimes C coaches, but C coaches from three places. One is FA, one is UEFA, mm -hmm. the other is in Kuala Lumpur, they have a course, right? Mm -hmm. There's in Malaysia. That course is also allowed. Now, there are a number of uh, UEFA C and B certificate coaches in this country. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to bring in more coaches, probably you will be underutilizing those coaches. Maybe they will be better taking those coaches and paying them less and utilizing them. There are a number of coaches over here already. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is one thing you can look at. But uh, when you have 13 to 23 age group, taking 13 year olds into a boarding school, so to say, you will need the parents permission, written permission. How do you want to adjust that? There are, there are, there have been uh, academies in this country, 
a special academy is run in place called Jamshedpur, run by Tata Steel. That is a very old uh, academy and is done pretty well. So you, if you are trying to promote something like that, then how do you plan to take these 13 year olds? Because Tata Football Academy had a major problem getting 13 year olds. Yeah. Well, uh, as I mentioned, anybody can. I mean, yeah. You, you can. I, know, I think you no, give your no, it's, give it's, your answer. Then he'll give his. Yeah. Then I can version. add up. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, as I mentioned. It's basically we we went at the beginning just to just to bring for a a, a, a couple of weeks uh, young uh, uh, Indian talents, and after that we will see how will that develop. The idea is, of course, to have a, a constantly a permanent academy, but that's. Uh, 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 the second, the second goal to achieve. Mm. Okay, and of course, it's necessary the permission of the of the parents. We all, we are aware of all the all the uh, legal issues that we will need to cover. Exactly. And yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, so we will comply uh, because usually parents is giving the no objection certificate to all players, and they are more than happy to see their uh, you know. Uh, but they are not adults. They are not even majors. Yes, but uh, the, the young boys are going. And if they are playing professionally, then you need a parent to be accompanying with the children. This is the FIFA guideline, actually. Hmm. Hmm. What about girls? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, NKISRA has uh, three uh, teams of girls. Uh, from the next year, we will even have a senior team, which is required by UEFA from the next season in Croatia for a Premier League club to uh, also must have a female team. So we are working with the free category of girls, which are very successful in uh, Croatia. So, of course, we are always open to uh, any talented player, uh, whether it's a girl or a boy, uh, to come to Croatia to join either the female team or the boy team uh, to see how they would uh, play yeah. on the level of Croatian football. But this academy will not have girls? Mm, that is the question for our Indian partners. That has not been decided yet, I think. It is not concluded, but we are uh, trying to uh, get the uh, under-18 age, uh, the, the national team mm -hmm. player, mm -hmm. who, because this is the right time, they need a professional uh, training module. Right, because so, what happened is, India is, India, especially Bengal used to have a standard league mm -hmm. of girls football. Mm -hmm. The league went off because of lack of money. Nobody wanted to sponsor girls football. India is was starting a national league for football. It's still not started because the sponsors that are not there. But there are a lot of there's a lot of talent in the northeast of the country, like Manipur, and also in Bengal. There is a huge amount of women footballers ready to play. So I think if you look at it a little bigger way, women footballers are very strong in India. There are plenty of women footballers in India, and at that age, like 13, 14 and at that age. It is a possibility if you can look at it. Okay, now, uh, since we have done a lot, I like to just want to see your future projection as the last question. All of you, the future, future projection one on one of you, of, of this association, what do you want, where do you want to see it go? Mm -hmm. My aim and vision is to uh, bring back the laurel of the country and bring back the, the the 1948 time to bring back uh, Indian football at that stage. That's what our aim and object, which we are looking forward for a longer period. And for football, is not uh, for a year or, or a six month project. So we have to run for a longer period of time. And step by step, we can explore the, the Kolkata and the other places by step by step. So this is our aim and object. That is the that is their his vision. So, what is your vision? Uh, basically, uh, our as you, as you know, Croatia is a big uh, football uh, nation. So, um, Croatia is among the tenth uh, countries in the world that uh, exports uh, football players. So, uh, we have a huge uh, know-how in uh, sports, in football uh, management, and creating and developing uh, talents. So our idea is to bring that know-how to India and taking in consideration the big uh, population you have and the uh, sport mentality you have, we think we can manage to, uh, to, to, to be present in the uh, Indian market with our football know-how. Excellent idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank we you hope so to much. interact Thank more you. with you.
have a good time and wish you all the best thank you very much thank you. bye bye thank you. you were listening to some very senior officials from a, a football club in the, from a very respected uh, football nation called croatia and you have heard what their vision is for india especially from for kids indian footballers who are kids and how they can push ahead and get some footing in international football we wish them all the best and uh, thank you for watching this is ap news and this is shrijit bhar from views on news